Good morning everyone. So we we'll discuss for now for this today's video we we'll discuss about the lesson eleven. We're going to discuss lesson eleven inquiry based teaching strategies. No? And then but before we start um let me show to you our objectives our objective for today is we're going to the end of this video we will be able to explain the relevance of inquiry in social studies education appreciate the art of questioning inside a social studies classroom and create a lesson plan using inquiry based teaching strategies okay so one of the major goals of social studies in the philippines is development of what of critical thinking again critical thinking having this in mind teacher kevin reflected if he has been able to develop the skills among his learners he thought that to develop a critical thinking his learners must be able to use their analytical analytical and problem solving skills hence the solution of this problem is to use is the use of questions inside the classroom upon implementing essential question in this in class he noticed that his learners become more attentive than ever since then he used question and answer as a strategy to ensure his learners are attentive that's why he called it inquiry based teaching strategies the student will be going use the inquiry base or the in we are going to inquire or the prop based on the problem so based on that there is a specific question the question or inquiry is a strategy that social studies teacher can use to elicit the desired responses among the learners however not all teacher can effectively facilitate such as instructional technique to do so the teacher must know how to make and truly relevant questions to facilitate discussion in this lesson we will learn the art of questioning by discussing its type and usage okay so inquiry is defined as the process of looking and creating information or knowledge means of questions inquiry is a huge part of, of our community from birth to adulthood we observe reorganize things or events from here we create questions that need to be answered the process of inquiring begins with the assembly of information and the data by applying the human sense such as seeing hearing touching and tasting and smelling just like um, Montessori skills multi-sensory in the field of social studies education the importance of inquiry has been overlooked by many teachers tend to use differentiated instruction that sometimes is not relevant to the competences being harnessed so, muna siya ang inquiry based teaching strategies. Moreover, once adopted as a strategy, the teachers sometimes strictly rely on the procedures, steps, leaving the idea of the art of questioning at stake. Okay? So, mag start yun na siya sa question. Then, based on that question, the student will going to answer that question make create an information inquire in the website and other resources 
based on the problem so that's it so i share to you know when i teaching in dvc for bs for the bs at mathematics teaching teaching calculus so kita gaana ko silag problem and then next day ana i present nila ang problem as gyon sa nila pag solve so ana siya na presented one by one then kung wala kaayo na kuha ang answer that's the time na mo mo facilitate ko tabang na ko ana siya no okay inquiry based teaching strategy some of the student did not make it because uh, it's difficult to find solution to that answer that's why so kulang ang ilahang inquiry skills no so in 1919 white shimoda and and others develop an instructional theory that enables scientific inquiry as part of instruction among widespread variety of learners including new ones and slow learners slow learners they postulate that quality of education could be achieved by allowing the learners to understand metacognition metacognition is uh, thinking about thinking right so as a student if you are going to acquire such a, pro a problem you are go you are going to think twice try to reflect kung sa mga strategies na imuhang gyon sa ni pagsolve and try to apply to other problem mo ang metacognition beyond thinking is a reflective thinking okay it's a self reflection this could be done by constructing an instructional methodology that develops the student metacognitive knowledge and skills following the process of so here are the process the number one process is scaffolding inquiry so as you can see uh, I know some of you mm, encounter the uh, scaffolding no by Vygotsky which is said that the the CPD the CPD which is there is a mo MKO which is more knowledge knowledgeable others can help a student or to guide the student to scaffold the student and then after that the difference between the scaffolding and then the self student na lang direct na lang pag umani mo tudlo so mupadayo na ang student tira siya na lang ang mubuhat example sa pagsuot sa botone sa bata pila na ka botone tulo so igay di mo ang bata sa first button then sa duha ka botones ikaw gitabangan nimo siya then sa tulo ka botones ang student ang mupadayon muhuman sa trabaho mo na ang scaffolding theory by Vygotsky okay so teacher should guide the learners to way communication in attaining the goals of any discussion hence they must be aware of several technique that could allow them to surface the learners knowledge and skills so proper scaffolding leads to a proper knowledge to adapt the specific skills if na ay pagkukulang therefore dili jud niya mamit ang outcomes the finished product no again and also is a reflection Spon um, reflection the sp spontaneity of the discussion depends on the capacity of the teachers again it's depend on the capa capacity of the teachers to direct guide the learners if the teacher the uh, lack of knowledge lack of something na dili kay niya ma matarong iyang trabaho sa facilitating therefore na ajoy problem ana may tabo 
Okay? The teacher must be ready. So, as a future educators, you must read a lot of books, then apply it to the field. No? So, the most important point is for learners to reason out their mind and try to assess both sides of any situation that will lead to generalization. Example, mag-compute ka o simple interest. Then, mag-guide si teacher. Pag mag-guide ni teacher, si teacher first magtudlo. Pag magtudlo, mag-ask si teacher o question ng mga possible based sa problem. pag human two-way communication to each other, mag-guiding ka, mag-scaffold. Pagka next na po, Anna, ang another na, ang teach, ang student na po, mo-answer. Based sa katong na-come up niya, based atong na-reason out niya, based atong na-assist niya yung self. So that's why mag-create na siya og generalization. Therefore, makasolve na siya og problem. Okay? Same sa social studies, mga problem sa community. Okay? So, i-reflect na ninyo sa inyong mga estudyante. So, muna kasagaran ka ron na problem. There is no reflection at all after discussion. No? After learning the content given by the teacher, dili na mag-reflect sa balay. mag na lang. No? Kay kapoy na. So, importante ka ng reflection, no? For recalling So, the, the C is the generalization. This is the optimum part of the process. Optimum part of the process. Wherein the learners have created their own belief. No? Responding effective domain. And communicated their disposition. Try to uh, uh, self-talk ang mga sudyante na what if kanin ka na. No, mag-search siya, mag-inquire siya, nganong ka na. So, take note that in social studies, teacher must know how to divert divert and process misleading ideas because it may break their motivation and self-esteem. So, as a teacher, sometimes we are not perfect. We cannot deliver it well, our lesson. That's why we need practice and practice in order that the student Uh, there is no creation in the misleading part no for the student so then dili na dili ma break ang ilang motivation for that once ma break na so nga na doubtful na ma create then ang student dili na maminaw no 50-50 na labi na sa mga primary grades ma ma mami si teacher ba mali man to yang gitudlo So what na di na maminaw sa mga sa sa mama na. Oh, di ba? So big imp the the ko kay mo rules as a as a primary teacher sa mga bata kay dra man nag-start ang cognitive theory, the schema, the assimilation, accommodation and the equilibration and all. So that's why you have a uh, anecdote or the developmental lag for the student to record his learners learning no na siya inquiry learning is a grounded on rational strategies used to motivate learners to generate responses through the queries regarding the issues and events okay the learners are seen and uh, are seen as active participant in the teaching process it helps learners to enhance their intellectual capacity so inquiry based learners is a progressivist kind of philosophy in teaching it is a learning by doing active learning national and also inquiry based is a type of teaching strategy that That is indirect teaching, indu inductive reasoning, inductive teaching strategies. So it it is a teach a uh, student centered because the student will be the one to acquire such problem to make a solution. 
through the significance of scientific inquiries, some of the benefits of inquiry-based teaching are the following. Number one, inquiry is dedicated to nurturing the schema of the learners. When we say schema, schema it is a prior knowledge that na anadira daan sa ang brain naka-intact na ang knowledge ning agi na na siya sa process sa equilibration o accommodation natatak na kailangan na lang na siya i-add i-innovate ang learning niya okay of the learners essential to create communicate assess answer coming from their interest number two it helps the learners acquire and process ideas in a logical way because it is a scientific inquiries. Okay? Third, it encourages intelligent responses which can be practiced to discover why issues are acute. So, when we say why, it is more on higher order thinking skills. Okay? The question. So that's why it develops intelligent response based on the problem. To fully understand the strategy, here is the, here is the inquiry process. So let me show it to you the, the strategies. To fully understand, here is the inquiry process. So as you can see here, that in this model, the role of teacher as the facilitators are enlightened. It is their responsibility to let the learners identify the problem or situation, judge the inquiry events, and replay to learners. Inquiry to augment uh, learning. It supports the learners in establishing the importance of their inquiry. It also Im uh, simplifies the converse conversation of the problematic situation among the learners because the responses are generated by them they will be able to find connection starting from the question about the topic being discussed so as you can see here in the inquiry based learner process post real question so the teacher will post the problem what do and then in the post real question there is a what do i want to know about this topic gusto ko makabalo how to compute decimal so what do i know about my question so based on my question is nabantayan ako nakabalo ko mo mo plus or minus how do i know it yun sa nako pagkabalo kay based sa akong experience and what do I need to know usa pa kailangan na may bawaan is unsa on pag paggamit sa operation sa decimal or sa fraction and what could an answer be it's depend on the problem so after that the post real question you will you will going to find the resource find the resources what kind of resources might help Siguro matok sa YouTube, mga fraction, operation. Where do I find sa YouTube, sa mga website? How do I know the info is valid based on the resources or the other books? Who is the responsible for the info? The authors. What other info is there? Uh, many, many content. After that, finding resource. Then you are going to the step 3 which is interpret information. How is the relevant to the ma how is this relevant to my questions? Go back. So, zero ni moto based on website. What parts support my answer? So ngalat dito. How does it re relate to what else I know? What parts do not support my answer? Does it raise new question? After that, you are going to the rep step four which is the report finding what is my main points after nakuha na nako ning tulo and who is my audience what else is important how does it connect 
how do I use media to express my message oh, that this is the for inquiry process okay after that mubalik na po ka balik balik na sila once dili ni mo mamit ang kani mubalik ka once nga na ka dire na meet ni mo ning duwa so pwede ka mo proceed dire once dili ni mo ni mamit mubalik ka kung dili pwede mo mamit mubalik na po ka dire sa step 1 so it is our cycle no the inquiry process that need to need to be developed by the learners especially in your time so questioning technique the questioning technique is that let me show you so the art of questioning is the most important aspect in these strategies yes in the art of question questioning you don't delete you not mawala sa lesson plan right the analysis part of the four is so kana na questioning is there are no may bow and na kapag ang learner is nakasabot pa jod it is assessment for learning the way you assess the student during the class during the discussion you are going to apply the diagnostic it can be a question or the speak or paper and pencil that need to be answered but the most thing is in easy to implement is the art of questioning used as, as assessment tools to identify the learners the learners content kung na sabtan ba yun niya okay so the teacher must be well exposed to various ways of posting question to student having known the different questioning technique the teacher are assured of the success of their inquiry so identify the different question technique that social studies teachers can use so number one might questions so what might history be what might history be what might community problem or some may mga problems community na possible might mga possible no na gamit sa possible na mahitabo if kunuhay conditioning what might history be what might the problem in the community what might the problem in the family so what might be the answer to that social issues it is an open ended question there is no wrong and right answer anyone can answer because the question is might this question does not limit the possible response among the learners but rather it opens up the range of possible response to that allow learners to reason out their answer may not be correct <coughs> but their explanation might put all things right including the word might signal the learners that they need to use critical thinking to create ar argument relevant to the question so from the word might is ang pwede ang bata mo answer no basing unsa as long as is connected and then bata ni mo na siya og summary kanang lang gipang answer okay the second is what if question what if there is a earthquake what shall we do what if you become the mayor the possible things no possible na mahitabo ang might is more like 50 50 ba then what programs shall you implement this kind of question brings out the creativity speculation the probability, the inference, the prediction, in the uh, outcomes, in the situation, and the rationality among the learners. It allows the learners to think in a totally different perspective that is usually grounded what they believe in. It could be a great way to assess the learners formatively because it allows them to answer based from the learning they had so example 
magingon mag propose ka og issues or problem mag post pagkahuman ana you try to ask your student using the if question and the, stu the the learners will answer that no there's no wrong and right it, again it is an open ended question so the learners will create a question uh, an answer and then and also in a creative way because from the word if it is the possible things no what if maging mayor ka so may mga possible buhato nimo o ana what if masolve nimo ang problem so sa may feeling uh, gunsa nimo ana siya ha sikat kay niya sa social studies So guys, so muna siya ha. What if questions? The third is the different rules questions. You are the judge. You will give your verdict in favor of the suspect. You are a teacher and you are expected to guide your learners. If there is a naughty pupils, pupil, you will spunk here or him. This type of question allow the learners to have glimpse of possible rules they might portray in the real world. This strategy is a nice representation of the outside world and give the learners the chance to evaluate themselves. So something in the character, no? Kanang different rules question. So what if you put yourself in the choose of the teacher then mag throw ko question sa imo ha so say button ni mo so muna siya no is part of the inquiry base so ang student maguna huna na teacher ko sa may dapat button ako ani so naga develop ang iyang brain sa sa kanya pag answer kay naga base man siya sa character na iyang gi sunod so, yung answer pang teacher pod. Okay? Some, something it's modeling. No? So, kung siyang nakita, kung siyang na-learn, siyang experience, ma-answer niya to based sa yung experience. Okay? It is an open-ended question. Okay, the next is the Socratic question. Here. The Socratic question, this question style combines all the Aforementioned from the word Socratic, it, it is the art of questioning because a panahon is Socratic, which is um, isujantinia si Aristotel, then si Aristotel, isujant, isujanti po niya si Plato. So, therefore, the three generation and uh, naga discuss yun sila sa rhetoric or dialect sa unang panahon sa ancient Greece so that's why they developed their own art of questioning because it's more on politics political affairs so it called it Socratic question or the art of questioning by Aristotle I by Socratic si Socrates so this question style combines all the aforementioned form of questioning Socrates has been known in history as the master of ensign, uh, ens, ensigns, correct me if I'm wrong to pronounce it, questioning to achieve wisdom. Throughout his life, he spent so much time asking people question for the purpose of revealing falsehood. Scholars divide Socrates' question into four types. So, from the word falsehood, he saw no panahon mangold in the debate, dialect, sa politics, rhetorics, in academic is that na dira ang mga mga fallacies the, I think mga 17 kabok fallacies attack attack on the person so the ad mohenem fallacy so dagan kina sila if you study logic logical reasoning okay good reasoning so, here it comes the god fly question god fly question so, 
this allow teacher to ask several question to push the learners to answer question so medyo kwan kini siya ng book at sa, sa, sa learners kay several question ang iyang ihatag so what are the election all about how important it is for people to participate in the election what if people were not allowed to vote what will happen when you reach the legal age will you practice your your right vote so sa gradvla sa gadfly question it is a series of question that connect to each other until you meet the you meet the the correct answer or the situation based on the situation so as long as it is congruent mura sya surface level hantod padulong sa lisod-lisod no it is a uh, open ended question again so there is a socratic question na put tay stingray questions stingray so this question leads to a sudden change in the course of question sometimes so idagdag na ko ang gadfly question is more connected kay ni siya sa politics no kay di ba kabantay mo sa politics katong sa upper camera ay sa 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 senate kapag ang um, nainakasala is padayon ang question series of question para ma-identify jud kung namakakba or wala o nga ba nasabtan para makilatis jud okay dere naman sa stingray question is is sudden change in the course of question sometimes this is a shape to the drift in the situation so you said that love is the answer well love changed the situation of the poor so imagine that poverty is not applicable to your case what you st still pursue your character so kaning sting sting question is just like a devil advocate na question style kana ganing musimang ka murag kung positive ang question in negative ni mo ug ug throw sa student para makita sa student the way he think para makita ni mo the way he think the, the student no what if nasun nagsunog ang building nasunog ang building pagkahuman as asa man ka muambak or magpasunog na lang so ana no negative question so depende na sa teacher no sa anya pag develop so kanang negative question or grad fly question or several question and no testing question which change in the course is kung positive ang question in negative ni mo ibaliktad ni mo just like a devil advocate okay mo persona ana mo ana kana example o oh, nganong miss wala pa man ka wala na kay kay tuition so mura siyag negative no ang question mura gi change ni mo ang course dapat ay mo i question oh, so oh, may plano ni mo ngano para makakwarta ka so ana na siya ha so as a teacher dapat na kay skills ani para dali ra nimo makalihat makilatis ang student okay so nga po tay ginaingon na midwife question from the name itself this question are used to elicit new new ideas to the learners so this is a very good point can you elaborate it further how might that idea change the life of Filipinos? What made you say that idea? So from the word midwife. So let me show to you the midwife question. So question are used to elicit new ideas to the learners. So that is a very good point. Can you elaborate it further? So usama ijoy ko anjo usan ni siya pag solve na siya ha. How might that idea change the life of Lefino? So, what made you say that ideas? Okay. So, muna siya ang midwife question. Sometimes, dili kayo yun siya ginagamit. Okay. Mak pwede raman siya dito sa ubang question. So, ang ating ginaingan na ignoramos question. In here, teacher play dump for them to elicit responses among the learners i don't understand can you further explain it to me so do you mean that what does your answer mean so from the word ignoramos dumb 
So, something mean ang pagpangutan na sa teacher. Okay? So, example mo, answer ang student. Mas mo na ang teacher na, wala ko kasabot. Pwede i-explain ni Mugtarong. O, um, mag something. Depende sa approach na yung gamito, no? So, kita pasabot ni mo, mura siya, mura siya investigation style. Kana? nang murag ipa muka jud sa imo ba mag answer na tama jud imong answer valid jud ni siya sure bull jud ka sa so, na ang ignoramus question by learning to address inquiries learners can ap uh, appreciate problem solving and critical thinking hence there is a need for social studies teacher to learn how to properly use questioning skills to fully attain the goals of social studies education in the Philippines. So, let me show to you the the experience. The experience, okay? So, from the word experience, tanaw na to diri ang yahang lesson plan. Okay? So, tanaw na to. Study the sample daily lesson plan below and analyze how the jig jigsaw Ah, jigsaw lagi ni siya. Dapat inquiry base ni siya. Ole, try na lang nato. Jigsaw strategy in utilizing the elementary social studies. Okay? So, wait lang po ha. Mura na tingnan lang ko nganong jigsaw ang yang gigamit. Murag nagkabaliktad ko rin akong pagkuan copy. Adara. So, uh, mali ni na picture akong gikuha. So, delete sa nako ni. So, but before nato ipadayo tong lesson plan is cons yan sa sa yuning assessment. What is or are being enhanced among the learners when teacher use the inquiry based teaching strategy what tips can you give the to teacher to craft a good question as a future social studies teacher would would you use question and elicit the ideas to a learners so answer nyo na palihog and also the challenges based on the discussion above create your own guidelines regarding the use of question in different parts of the lesson okay ha huh? and so money siya oh money siya ang kuan gusto ko ipahimo sa inyo ha ang kanina less na kuan maghimo mo lesson plan gamit ang inquiry based strategies okay so nga there so, magkuha lang mo sa grade 1 to 3 sa curriculum guide. Okay, so, practice lang na, guys. Para dagang tagbatunan sa ang paghimo. Okay. So, then, pangitaan sa nako itong kuan, itong lesson plan. Example, kaya wala mong kukwili, brother, eh. So, wala, Jod, no? I think, mo na lang siguro ni siya katong strategies, good. Ay, katong jigsaw. Pero, dili ko sure ato. Pero, guys, sa libro, tanawa na lang ninyo. Then, istadihan na lang ang mga ang giyon sa niya pagbuha sa lesson plan. Kaya, kabalo naman mo usahan to pag-criticize sa lesson plan. Okay, that's all for today's video. Then, next, next is we will going to discuss the case study lesson, which is the lesson 12. Okay, thank you.